And we also have mommy here, teacher Rebecca, you're welcome. School of Discipleship. So, I book Bible Rebecca, with all due respect, you're welcome to give us the word. Foyo, uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's nice to be here with you this morning, ladies. Uh, I hope you've had a, a very good week. Today we are going to be starting our series in the book of Job. We're going to be studying suffering. Why would we start to talk about suffering? Because your suffering shapes the your understanding on suffering will shape how you react to the world. So before we study this hard, difficult topic, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, Father God, we love you this morning. We thank you that we're alive. We're we thank you that we're alive to worship you and to give you glory. And we ask that you teach us today. Teach us about suffering, about what you say about suffering. Help us to understand your heart and to trust in you more. We love you. Amen. Amen. So let me start by um, dispelling any myths. All people suffer. You might be rich or poor. Uh, black or white, uh, uh, a Christian or a non-Christian, all people suffer. Uh, all people die. All people get sick. Uh, now, will some people experience more suffering than others? Uh, yes. But no matter who you compare your suffering to, there will always be someone that's better off than you. And there will always be somebody that's worse off than you. The question is not whether or not you will suffer, but what will you do when you suffer? Will you continue to trust in God's goodness and love? Or will you reject God and turn from Him? Let me give you two examples of men who have suffered. There is a man from Australia named Vic, Nick Vajusi. We'll just call him Nick. He was born without any arms or any legs. All he has is his body, his torso, and his head. He cannot pick things up. He cannot walk. 
pe war o pian tian e pere. He cannot feed himself. Be re pe tuer chan pian tian e pere. He cannot receive hugs or give hugs. And be pe tuer mo do ngar e mo ni a ki gua ku kore. Even though he lacks the ability to walk and move, kare ka be en pe ti ki ker me war nyo me di re ka be ma en ti e. Do you know what he still has? Inge gina ngo ma en ti kere. He has the Lord. The Lord has given him an amazing ability to speak truth. And he has used his disability to travel all over the world and tell people about Jesus. He greatly suffers. Yet yeah, he has joy and hope in Jesus Christ. And he has made an impact on the kingdom of God. Using his suffering. Then there is another man. His name is Robin Williams. Robin Williams. He was an American actor. He was very famous. He was known for making people laugh. He had a lot of money. He had nice home, nice cars. Everything you could want. But you know what? Inside he was hurting. He did not have the, uh, he did not have Jesus. And he struggled with depression. Even though it, on the outside it seemed like he had everything. On the inside he lacked the love of God. And he committed suicide. So even though on the outside it looked like he had everything, his life was hopeless. So it's, you see, it doesn't matter what you have. You could have all, you could be healthy, money, have houses and children and jobs, but you can still suffer. It, what makes the difference is who you have your hope in. What makes the difference is Jesus. So as we start the book of Job, Let's first turn to James. Because in James chapter 5, it, it tells us the purpose of the book of Job. Okay, so James chapter 5, verses 10 and 11. It says, As an example of suffering and patience, brothers, Take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Behold, we consider those blessed who remain steadfast. You have heard of the steadfastness of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, and how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. So here we see two purposes of Job. The first is to show that Job was an example of being steadfast. To be steadfast is to be strong, true, and not give up. Job did not give up his faith in God. Even when he everything was taken from him. 
and he faced much suffering. Uh, he continued to believe in God. The second purpose we will see in Job is to see the Lord's compassion and mercy. So even when we are looking at pain and suffering, uh, I hope you see God's compassion and mercy. As we look at the book of Job. So now turn to the Old Testament and turn to the book of Job. We're going to start in chapter 1, reading verses 1 through 5. Okay, so this is verses 1 through 5. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was blameless and upright, one who feared God and turned from evil. There was born to him seven sons and three daughters. He possessed 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, and 500 female donkeys, and very many servants, so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. His sons used to go and hold a feast in the house of each one on his day, and they would send and invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And when the days of the feast had run their course, Job would send and consecrate them, and he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my children have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus Job did continually. Uh, and la lua luba, ma dag te ma raj. Ero nywa la wuba biro kia nye ra ter. Li ma yam te bore u biro romi ki digi alib a biro. Ki naga alib a ter. Kodi pu alib a chiel. Megi kana mi a bij. Ka chiel ki luak lo tiche ma pol ma da. Ero biro dan ma diet ma karo jo duchu ma yu tung wak ching. A woman eh, yam gi mara che roka jamu karama e oat pangara che la che in the anon eh. In these verses, or you go ahead. Che gut walo kwena, gul wong gut megi gi a deke, ka jam ki ngat ma kamat kwet gi. Ka kare, me karama o tun, che yu wu, yam u chwalo kwena, luong gi, che, lonyo gi, en a malo di kuchan, Tiyaro gi tom awamu poro wil gi duchu. Tien yubu no tamani guak nyo a wobe negu balo. Tiyaro lo ba. La ichwingi. Yubu yam timo kit meno jui jui. So in these verses, we're introduced to Job and we see his character. Niyake wangjiri ni wanwane o kuopa yubu kit machalo eno no tikwere. First, we must recognize that even though it says that Job was blameless, uh, that does not mean he was sinless. No one can be sinless. Uh, Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned. And all fall short of the glory of God. So Job still sinned. But he was considered upright. And as we see in verse 5, he repented of his sin and the sin of others. He was constantly offering sacrifices. In this, his heart was blameless in that he sought what was right. We also see that Job was very wealthy. And he was very well known. He had fame. But remember what we said before. Having wealth and having fame does not excuse you from suffering. Let's read on in Job chapter 1, verses 6 through 12. 
Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, From where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down on it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for no reason? Have you not put a hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But stretch out your hand and touch all that he has, and he will curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your hand. Only against him do not stretch out your hand. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. <laughs> A wobe palobago, beer with chung in yim roar, chichatan, be no beer can gay. War while both chatani, any ak equine, chatan or gamma dog roar, con wachi, ana aka wear a will logo, kick a word, it can pain a logo. Chill what dog while you both chatani, kitamo peel a teacher yugo, nimero, petting at more machalo and a will logo, darma mape ki balmo, darma chunya tea, malwar loba, dog dag tim maraj. Chatano gama dog road con wachi. Itamani you will war lobano. Pe in a year room, come a chill, ti ode, kikin ducho my antiquere, tungi ki tungi. Hini me of gum, e com ti mechiem. Lime bene o made a lobo. Anto to get a cheek, to get a cheek or tick short cone. A good gin ducho my antiquere, ti en yeri, ki nimi. Chill war while you bought chatane. Nan gin ducho, ma antiquere, tie tuerni. Cono yo com anke can, a ye pay catchi. Cumero, chatano out chair wara, in yim rot. Uno tien yam ma, ma wobe, kian yera, pa yu bu beru kacham, ki kamato con. Vieno, e art pa roar, e art pa migi, ma dirte. From these verses, we get a glimpse into heaven. Uh, and we see the limitations of Satan. Often I think we give Satan too much power. Uh, we don't understand that his power is limited. It is only God who has unlimited power. So let's look at some of Satan's limitations. First, he is not omnipresent. So omnipresent means that you are everywhere at all time. Omnipresent Okay. Satan could only be at one place and at one time. You can see this because he says he was going to and fro, moving from here to there. Only God is omnipresent. That means he is everywhere at all times. He can be with you, he can be with me, he can be with people all over the world. But that is not true of Satan. But it feels like Satan is everywhere. Because he has many demons and evil forces that work for him. But first, I want you to understand that he is limited. He is limited in his movements. The second limitation we see is that he had to get permission from God to act. 
He cannot make decisions without God's approval. This is both an uplifting thought. Uh, so it's a it's a good thought because it means that he is limited in his power. But it's also because that means that God is actually giving permission for our suffering. Is that hard for you to understand? That God has actually given his permission for your suffering? Okay, I'm going to pause here and we're going to look at a few other scriptures to further prove this point. Okay, the first scripture is in the book of Isaiah. So Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. It says, I form light and I create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. I also want us to look at the book of Lamentations. Look at Lamentations chapter 3, and then verses 31 and 32, and also verse 38. Okay, so verses 31 and 32 and verse 38 says, For the Lord will not cast off forever, but though he cause grief, he will, not, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love. Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that good and bad come? The Okay, so... Dear sisters, this is what we have to understand today. The Lord causes good and bad. He builds up and he destroys. He causes grief and he brings joy. Remember, he is the one who pointed out Job to Satan. He brought Job to Satan's attention. So you might ask the question, how can God be good when he causes suffering? That is a question I think every person has asked. And we don't know all the answers. But there are two things I want to talk, tell you today. First, God is God. He can do what he wants. Do you understand that? His ways are so much higher than our ways. His understanding is so much more than our understanding. He knows how all things work together. So he is going to work his purposes. Yet I also know this. That God is good. And he works all things for good. So even our suffering is working for good. Sometimes we see that 
the reasons for suffering are to display God's glory. Sometimes it is to make us more like Christ. Sometimes it's for our corrections so that we can repent and turn to what is right. And sometimes our suffering is so that we can comfort others. Yet whatever the reason, our suffering is used for good. I love this verse in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you. Plans for good, not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. God wants to give you a future with him. He wants you to live in heaven with him forever. He wants the world, all of people, to live with him forever in heaven. So he's going to do whatever it takes to bring your heart and others to know him. And sometimes that is through suffering. So what you have to ask yourself right now uh, is do you believe in God? Do you believe that he is good? And that whatever comes through the Lord's hands whether they are good or bad they are meant for your good and for his glory. I'm not saying this is easy. We all struggle with it. But let me encourage you today that he loves you. And whatever is happening in your life, it is for your good and for his glory. See, Satan wants our suffering to draw us away from God. He believed that the only reason Job believed and trusted in God was because he had many blessings. What about you? Do you believe in God because of what you will get from him? Do you believe in God because of the blessings you believe he will give you? If that is the only reason, your faith will fail. Because you will fall into suffering and you will reject God. Just like Satan wants you to. So I know this is tough, ladies. But hang in there. We've just started reading in Job. We've only gotten through the first few verses. And there is a lot more for us to learn. So today I want to leave you with this. Don't let your suffering tear you away from God. Allow it to draw you closer to God. Because whether in this life or in the next, he has good things for you. And his promises are true. And he is good. Ah, uh, Lubabe. Amen. Amen. Amen.
This is so powerful. La wonder you so imagine of a site and you take a car to car, move my tech, me, Nichel, Kennel, Batica, Titere, a mate to Locomoni, my Engomir and Yang, and I wonder you so what for Natal at Charabeca, a former bear, my mean when you are Matin Damita Winky Bore, car in a tea of clapping mock can be a one and a bone watching number what you told you not a beer, a bora deck, a boro, a dera deck, a rio, a dera beer of favor. Hello, hello, yes, please. Yes, Michael. Okay. Let's roll up on a chair and take a dock on my foot. And then she mokene la wind in a take la pain, but I go on your number what you told you not a beer, a borrow a deck, a borrow a dera deck, a rio, a dera beer, or air till Benetio Tolo, favor. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, please. My name is Christine. Christine, where are you calling from? I'm from Kulu Town. Yes. Um, yeah, Christine from Gulu Town here. Thank you so much for being part of this program. Let me see another number. Our numbers are open. MTN is 783 Favor, hello. Hello. Yes. This is Vicky from Peche. Vicky Peche. Hi, Peche. Peche is just good. Thank you for calling, Vicky. Okay, I just want to thank this Caribbean team mm. because they are really spreading the good news. Okay. God bless them and you also. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Vicky, uh, she's just appreciating. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, we're ready to cut in and take a pain. I'm okay, can my father walk on your camera? My pain young, and you're near Kenya to Charabeca, uh, and at your terra, my gamma pain, no megay. A number what you told off, a not a beer, a boro, a deck, a boro, a dera deck, a rio, a dera beer of favor. Hello, hello, yes, the park road, keep on and I'm right in it.
of Poimatarada Nancy, Hila Yibi, Poimatek, and then to Mukene, Lawin Radio, number of the two of the Most of the callers today, they're just appreciating the word. Uh, you know, uh, they have learned a lot out of what Jerobika has taught us today. Meanwhile, let me receive another call. Our numbers are still open. MTN is 0783 237 Faber. Hello? Hello? Yes. Um, I met a for Latin Alabama, sir. You point more better for your name. Okay. And I know for no good for my mechanic for the lock at the lock. Amen. Amen. So, Tama, me or Mary, tell us by the Cometa America point in it and your mocking team at Twinkie Toad. Taka de Perry, Nitian, no moketa moketa. So, Lok Perum Burkini, and I like Jan, the clown of the morning, Ero Kilma, you will build a four pere. The town, Luen Compone, Ero Yagana to Loy. So, the moment we were in my long pet, I'll follow the bar, my tap on the other end, but don't favor. Okay. Ake Proba. Okay, well, for my tap bar. Amen. Good job. Okay, or for a matter of dollar, we'll be your David Gamma to Mario again, and you don't bene a give a care number of the two to the bottom. I lot a beer a bora deck, a bora deck, a deck, a rear deck, a beer of a tip la pain, favor, hello. Hello, yes. Yeah, it is still Christian. I request him the preacher's prayer to help me praying for the family. Sincerely, the families are really getting down and out. And they are now running away from God. Mm. And when you try talking to them, sometimes they are harsh, they are rude, they, they just do things that doesn't fit and feel like mm. he's a human being. Mm. So I request them and everybody who is listening to sincerely pray for our family and for our children and the generation to come. Mm, okay. Okay. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, let me just receive the last call. Uh, numbers are open. MTN is open. Airtel is open. For your question, favor. Hello. Hello. Yes. Man, Charles. Yes, Charles. Mm. Uh, praise God. Amen. Uh, I want to thank all the callers outside there. Uh, most of the callers were expressing their appreciation for the good teaching and the encouragement that came from the book of Job. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, we have Michael still appreciation, Christine from Gulu Town. Uh, also appreciating, then Vicky, he, she's also appreciating, and then Mama Innocent, also appreciation, then Nancy from Laibi, she also appreciated, and then encouraged uh, this teaching to go on, uh, and then uh, a man uh, without a name from Porongo also encouraged the, the teaching that has spoken a, li a lot in his life, and then we have also Christine, came back for the second time and she, she's making a prayer request for families mm. that are in uh, a lot of struggle mm. with marriage uh, breakdown. 
So uh, we have Charles Doe with uh, uh, a question also. You want to understand uh, why uh, certain things happen in our life that cause a lot of pain and suffering, and yet uh, God is really fully aware. And he wanted to know the relationship between Satan and God. Mm. That is his question. Mm. Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you for your appreciation. Uh, these are very hard issues to talk about. And to understand. So I hope over the next weeks, if not months, we will continue to look at the book of Job and understand more and more. There are many reasons for our suffering. And sometimes we will not even know why. So it comes down to trust. But let me say this about um, the relationship between God and Satan. God is all powerful. God wins. Satan is under God. He is a servant. He has to request to act. He is limited in power. And his end is guaranteed in the Bible. He will, he will be defeated. So even though Satan does have power on this earth, he will be destroyed one day. So believe that God is the ultimate power and his rule be, will be forever. So, Phil, I would like you to pray, especially over families, over those who are under Satan's attack right now. You might be struggling because you are suffering and you don't know why. You might be suffering because your husband and um, the wife is not understanding each other. Or maybe the husband has walked away from the Lord. Let's pray that our families would be united in the Lord. And let's pray that we can trust in God during our suffering. Radio, Nia kika kenyu, weka da ini a manu iti agonya. Aleluya. So kakanyi chawa ni eni pieni mogo tami me gono chim. I mogo tami wane nene tika wunyu radio. Doka kwanyo karani go e chim angeo ni otiki gen ni komloba. Aleluya. Piti enloko eone achoko chwini chawa ni eni in kameti ye mi chwini bot loba. Bible wachi waka maleng. Ni loba wano beru chwini pewa tuwa yaru warne kache pewa ti chwini. Kareti go ichim onyo pe go ichim ye mere ka chel wan ma bichar ka lega piu jo matika ye la ye le pachi gi jo mati manugu don ken gi la cho wiriu beti gan kini ye aleluya uallego wat la ba matwer du chu wat wa po che pak bori ini amatien wa pui pi gua ko wat wat la ba wa pui bene pi mi wa mod pa wiri is Kristo o wa okoni wa chung wa tiki gan pi ko ma petum la ba 
kare ka bet wa den shan e kar ma kep man lo ba ma po wa po e pian lo ke kono bi ni kon ko wa cho ko twin war war lo ba ma wa nen la bol ma chalo yugo den o chan e te chen kan lo ba ma po no cha tan ben o penyo pire lo ba ma ko wa po e pi lo tin ni wa ko ma giti ka den o chan ma cha tan ti ka penyo pi wa tungi ki tungi lo ba cha tan ti ka penyo pi nyom pa jo ma po lo ba ma ko o we ko nyom ti ka ket wa ko lo ba ma ko e yo di ko ma tin lo ba wa mo le nyi mi ai ro ci wa penyo ki nyim ko ke meri la ke jama pe tum lo ba ni ini ye da ka ri chi ka ba kana kwan te ko ma chol ping ro ma ti ka ka ke lo ba ma ti ka we ko de tian ma po lo don ke mi ka de no chan lo ba ma ko no we ko mon ma po lo ko tu ni ki tu ni lo ba yo la nye ka ba kana bu we ko wa wot ke ri wa ko lo ba ye yo di ko ba tian lo ba ma ko we ko ko wa o nyi mi ma leng ro ma chalo jo mo go chi mo ker ni ye gi ko mi ro lo ba ma chalo jo ma po lo gi ti ka ye ka che el ke wa ro ma ko wa chung ma chalo cha de ni nyi mi lo ba ma ko ka ba ka ri chi mi ya la ka la ka pa chi ma po lo lo ba ke mo ke lo ba wa ti wa mi chi wa le gi ni ro lo ba le ti ma ti ka ko ga di gu di ma lu nyo ri gi ti lo ba ye do nyo man ka che lo ba ma ko we ka ya gi ne a da ro ki do ak de ko mi ma leng ro wa po yi wa po yi be na fi ready yo man lo ba ma ko ni ti ka ko nyo lo ki ka ri wa nya mo ma po lo we ko jo ma po ti ka no cho ko chuin lo ba wa po yi gu mi we ko po ti ko ready yo man lo ba ma ko gu mi we ko po ti ko lo ti du cho ai ro lo ba gu mi we ko nyo nyo man be ka ti ai ro lo ba ma pe ri yo ka ka ye la ye la mo ro wa wa mo le cho wa chi wa po yi wa po yi fi wini wa ro lo ba de yi wa do ko bo ri ka ba ka da di du cho ma wa bi ti lo ba Welcome to the Nimi. Welcome man in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.